What's going on, y'all? It's TKJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you ever stopping by, man. The San Antonio Spurs have won the Victor Wamayama sweepstakes. We've been waiting for ages now, it seems like, to see where he's going to go, and it seems like he's heading for San Antonio. I'm going to be doing a career sim of Victor Wamayama to see just how dominant he is throughout his time in the NBA. This should be a fun one, man. I did grow up in San Antonio. Not a Spurs fan. I'm actually a Warriors fan. However, this is still my city, man, so I'm super excited about this. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to hit a 1,000 subs by my birthday man and we are getting there you guys have been showing a lot of love lately so i really do appreciate y'all but without any further ado man it's time to get into this video Let's get it. So the Heat beat the Lakers in seven games in the finals, just in case you guys are wondering. But either way, we're here with the first overall pick, and you already know what we're going to do with it. Victor Wamayama is coming to San Antonio. Now, I did update all of the other lottery picks, so this is all in order here. Brandon Miller goes to the Charlotte Hornets. Um, Scoot Henderson goes to the Blazers. So here's how 2K thinks the lottery is going to go down. You guys can go ahead and pause that, check it out if you want to. But either way, man, let's go ahead and keep this thing moving. So Victor Wamayama already is the highest overall player on the Spurs. Uh, which is pretty crazy 83 overall says 84 in the top right corner doesn't look like San Antonio made any moves here Jeremy Sochan did go up six to a 79 that's a pretty crazy jump yeah man I'm not gonna make any sort of trades nothing like that I'm just gonna sit back and let you guys know how every single year for Victor Ramayama goes so that's how we're gonna be doing things let's get into this first season man and just see what Wemby does as a rookie and I have had a few people say that they want me to do some of the future draft classes as well I'm gonna go ahead and do it for this video man we're gonna put in the 2024 draft class I'll probably do it for like i don't know the first maybe four or five seasons after that bro it's complete guesswork which is really the reason why i only do the upcoming draft class in the era of one and duns man like most of these guys haven't even played any college ball yet so it's just really tough to judge that's why i stay away from these future classes but i am a man of the people so for this video we're gonna give it a shot don't say i don't listen to you guys but anyways let's go ahead and keep it moving so for year number one the spurs have trey jones devin vassell keldon johnson jeremy sochan and victor wamayama they actually wanted to start Wemby at the four and have kim birch at the five i said nah bro we need to start Jeremy Sochan now he is somebody who actually fluently speaks French you know he lived there for a little while so you got to grow alongside Victor Wamayama and also just Sochan in general is a prospect who I really like one of the more underrated guys in last year's draft class so we're definitely going to start him but yeah man this team is going to be pretty bad I'm really interested to see how this goes and also I did leave injuries turned on as well normally I don't do that but with Victor Wamayama being seven foot three seven foot four whatever it is that's obviously the big concern is that a guy of his height tends to have injury problems so we are going to keep injuries on and just see if that turns out to be a factor for him throughout his career. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and just sim this regular season and see what it's looking like. So we finished 33 and 49 and this sim is already off to a really weird start, man. Bam Adebayo MVP. I can't say I've ever seen that before. Like in my videos and all of the 2K videos that I watch from other rebuilders, that's pretty crazy but um all right we got victor amayama rookie of the year he always gets this 21 points 10 rebounds three assists three blocks yeah man we round up around here three point shot isn't the best about 31 percent i do think that'll go up eventually i definitely think he's going to be above league average but yeah man this is a very good rookie year for victor amayama let's go ahead and keep it moving here just see if we got anything else doesn't look like it um do we have anything here for Victor Amayama? He did make all rookie first team. That definitely makes sense. So we had the second worst record in the Western Conference, the Utah Jazz. 16 and 66 is crazy, bro. But alrighty. Um, it looks like we had the what is this? One, two, three, four, five. We had the sixth worst record in the league this season. Not too bad. I kind of was hoping we'd be a little bit worse than that, just so we can get another really good pick. And you never know, we still might. But anyways, let's go ahead and sim this playoffs. Not like it really matters to us. Um, do you guys really want to see? I don't know why I'm asking this like it's live, but like maybe I should show you guys the team stats as well. I'm going to do that very quickly. I mean, this is obviously mostly about Victor Amayama, but if you guys want to pause it, here's a quick look at some of the player stats. Make sure to check that out if you want to. But either way, man, we got the Heat and Lakers, same as last year. Let's go ahead and see what happens this time around. And it's the Lakers clean sweeping them. Anthony Davis, finals MVP. Shout out to him. So here we are at the draft. We got three potential picks here. Let's go ahead and see what we do as we fall down. We got picks number six, eight, and 11 and i guess also 14 i don't know why we have so many picks but i'm not even going to question it that's not too bad man let's go over to draft night and just see what the spurs end up doing so the spurs end up getting isaiah collier out of usc that's actually a really good pick they also got xavier booker now i'm not gonna act like i know all of these people apparently 
He's a Michigan State guy. Um, and then what else do we have? We also got Julian Phillips out of Tennessee. Okay, so that's a pretty good draft, man. That's definitely a good draft. Oh, also, we got a draft and stash here. Alexander Samarziski, I guess. I don't really know, but he's a seven footer. So that would be a really crazy uh, front court pairing with Victor Ramayama. But either way, man, that's a pretty good draft if you ask me. So the Spurs pretty much brought everybody back and Victor Ramayama a five to an 88, man. Says 89 in the top right. I don't know why that's different sometimes. But yeah, just know this guy is a monster here. And we got a lot of green arrows, man. This is a really young team. So I'm super excited about the direction of the squad. Let's go and see what they do in year two. So here's a look at the rotation for year number two. The Spurs actually want to start Isaiah Collier. I'm not too mad at that. I think that's the right decision. Just go young, man. Also got Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sochan, and Victor Wamayama off the bench, man. I mean, it's just a really, really young team, but I'm not mad at it. So let's go ahead and sim season number two and just see what it's looking like. What is going on with this sim, bro? Bam Adebayo is back-to-back -back MVP. I don't understand it, but uh, I mean, that's that's cool, I guess. Defensive player of the year as well. Like, did this just turn into the Bam Adebayo sim? I don't really know, uh, but that's pretty crazy. As we go ahead and keep this thing moving here, I didn't see what our record was. We won like 34, 35 games, something like that. So we didn't make the playoffs again, but I am going to check that out here in a second. Isaiah Collier did get all rookie first team, but okay, let's go ahead and keep it moving here. Victor Wamayama got better though. I mean, 23 points now, 11 rebounds, uh, three assists. Didn't have as many blocks, but shot the ball a little bit more efficiently. So that's pretty good out of him. Now a 90 overall, by the way, which is pretty crazy. Here's a look at the rest of the team stats if you guys want to check them out but um yeah man let's go ahead and sim this playoffs because again does not concern us so let's go ahead and just see what this is looking like here as uh let's go ahead and check this out we got the uh we got the thunder there and the knicks okay who's gonna win it all i really don't know and it looks like it's gonna be the thunder okay cool clean swept the man shake out this alexander finals mvp shout out to him so it's time for the draft lottery once again we got three more picks here let's go ahead and see if any of them turn out to be good ones uh we fell once again pick number seven pick number 12 and i guess we lost the other one because it was probably protected so oh well let's go ahead and move on to draft night and see what that's looking like so we ended up getting vj miller out of uh ucla i guess and then we also got um ace bailey out of auburn all right again at this point i don't really know all of these players but we'll still do these real draft classes probably for like the next two or three years so it looks like the spurs lost devin vassell and trey jones that's pretty unfortunate but um what's not unfortunate is victor wamayama is now up five to a 93 overall man he's absolutely killing it isaiah collier also went up five to an 83 so that's nice yeah man losing vassell and jones definitely hurts but this is still a really good young team i mean it's all green arrows so we're on the come up let's go ahead and see if we can get some playoff experience this season not too many changes to the starting lineup for season number three isaiah collier malachi brandon keldon johnson jeremy sochan and victor amayama the overalls are looking a little bit better man but we'll go ahead and see just how good we're going to be let's go ahead and sim this regular season and see how it plays out so we won 47 and 35 that's our first winning season anthony davis mvp bro why does he have his fist balled up like that why does it look like he wants to throw hands with someone i don't really know but either way uh let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here bam out of bio still the star of this simulation that's pretty funny but yeah man let's go ahead and take a look at these awards do we have anything for victor ramayama um we didn't but we did get an all rookie first team this was the guy that we had to stash away for a year so that's pretty cool um that he's now here also vj miller so two guys on the all rookie first team is pretty nice and then an all rookie second team for ace bailey it looks like we're the fourth seed this time around man let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here it looks pretty much the same here for Wemby: 22 points 11 rebounds five assists but the big thing man is that the efficiency absolutely skyrocketed here 53 percent from the floor and 43 percent from deep we round up around here bro went 50 40 90 which is pretty insane and it looks like he got his first all-star selection as well which is also cool he probably should have made an all nba team but oh well here's a quick look at the rest of the stats just for anybody who's interested let's go ahead and and get into this uh this playoff run here as i guess we're just going to sim this round by round right we don't need to do like game by game or anything like that so let's go ahead and check this thing out here we did win that series so that's nice we're now going up against the golden state warriors and i didn't mean to do it like that um let's just do it like this okay we got eliminated i'm not gonna lie man these aren't the best playoff stats for Wimby. 19 points 13 rebounds four assists um efficiency absolutely plummeted now granted that is his first playoff run so i guess i'll cut him some slack 
but anyways let's go ahead and sim the rest of this thing here as we got the magic and the warriors and it's the magic clean sweeping on palo bancaro finals mvp all right so apparently we have a pick here from the bulls in addition to the one from the hawks um i don't really know about like protections for this kind of stuff but we did get the six pick we didn't keep the hawks one and we got our own pick which is number 25 all right cool so we ended up getting aj dabansta da i guess i don't really know man i'm probably gonna sound uh pretty foolish here but it says he's a 6 11 small four power forward we got a pretty big lineup here which is pretty interesting as we take a look at the rest of this year we had another pick where's that at uh number 25 Taj Petaway, I guess, from Kentucky. I don't really know, man. We'll probably just go one more real draft class and then we'll just do auto generated ones the rest of the way. So, Victor Amayama continues to increase at a really high rate. He's up three to a 96 now. Isaiah Collier, that's a really good right hand man, up five to an 88, although it says a 90 in the top right corner. Let's move on to season number three and just see what exactly this rotation is looking like. So, the starting lineup for year number four is Isaiah Collier, VJ Miller, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sochan, and Victor Amayama. We still got Malachi brandham off the bench alexander um some Samar Samar disky i guess i keep forgetting that uh blake wesley as well julian phillips yeah man this team should definitely make a deeper run in the playoffs now we're starting to get better and better let's go ahead and sim this regular season and see what it's looking like talk to me but talk to me nice we won 54 and 28 and victor wamayama first mvp under his belt man 25 points 13 rebounds three assists one steal three blocks went 50 40 90 that boy had a dominant season man shout out to him let's go ahead and keep this moving cameron boozer rookie of the year i do recognize that name obviously um also defensive player of the year for victor Wamayama. that's a first for him as well all right man johnny davis most improved that boy johnny's averaging 20 come on now come on now all right man did we actually get coach of the year we did it's brandon sims now i forgot to mention it before our first season greg popovich retired and we actually hired monty williams i guess they fired him or didn't renew his contract i don't really know but this guy brandon sims is now our head coach it is what it is let's go ahead and keep it moving though do we have anything here victor amayama all nba first team yeah of course since he got mvp isaiah collier all nba third team he is dealing with an injury right now and actually now that i think about it victor Wamiyama hasn't really been dealing with much so shout out to him that's really good to see um as we also got victor Wamiyama all defensive first team that makes sense yeah bro this team is trending in the right direction we're the number one seed that's pretty crazy man let's take a look at the stats once again you guys already saw it earlier but yeah man pretty much career highs across the board not assists but other than that i mean that boy was hooping here's a look at the rest of them just for those who are wondering go ahead and pause it if you want to but let's go ahead and see what we can do in this playoff run man we're gonna be going up against the denver nuggets i'm just gonna go ahead and just simulate the playoffs as a whole because i'd imagine that most of these years we're gonna be in the postseason now so we're gonna do it like that as we fell in the conference finals to the sacramento kings what did victor amayama do um 25 10 and 4 shot the ball really well hey man this is a much better playoff run than the year before where he really struggled so shout out to him he did his thing he's up to a 97 now bro that's pretty insane uh but anyways magic and kings here who's gonna win this thing it's the orlando magic for the second time this in palo bancaro finals mvp once again and man they got something going in orlando that's for sure and what's crazy man is we're still getting picks from that DeJounte Murray trade. We got one more of those things. I don't really know how protected it is, um, but we kept it this time. Ninth overall pick to a team that already made the conference finals last season. We also have our own pick at number 29. Yeah, the Spurs are in a good spot, man. So I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't really know any of these guys at this point. Um, it just is what it is. And actually, no, never mind. I know this name, Elijah Arenas, Gilbert Arenas' son. That's pretty cool. He's here on the Spurs now, 77 overall, 20 years old. All right, cool. So we got some big changes, man. Keldon Johnson and Malachi Brown him are no longer on this team that's pretty crazy victor amayama though up one to a 97 says he's a 98 now um isaiah collier up three vj miller up six yeah bro this team is still elite even though we did lose Keldon johnson malachi brandon two guys who i do like there's still a lot to be excited about here in san antonio let's keep it moving to what is this season number five now let's get into it man here's a look at the starting lineup for those who are wondering isaiah collier vj miller julian phillips now starting instead of Keldon johnson then we also got jeremy sochan and of course victor 
Wamayama, who apparently is the best player in the league by a mile. Um, yeah, closest one is Kate Cunningham at 95. The face of the league is officially Victor Wamayama. And I forgot to mention, but apparently this offseason, the Spurs gave that man a bag. 132 M's over the next four seasons. Yeah, that makes sense, man. I mean, he's the best player in the league. So let's go ahead and see if that can translate into some real postseason success, man. I'm talking championships. Let's see if we can get one here in year number five. So we went 69 and 13 this season, and Isaiah Collier is now the MVP. We've got two MVPs on this team, which is pretty crazy. 26, 5, and 12. Yeah, man. Shout out to him. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this year. Bam Adebayo now on the Suns. New team, same results, man. He's been going crazy this sim. Um, Isaiah Collier, most improved. Yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. Um, coach of the year here, like we said, 69 and 13. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, no All-NBA first team for Victor Wamayama. He gets second team this time around, which is still perfectly fine. What a number one seed here in the Western Conference. And as we take a look at the stats, I think this just became Isaiah Collier's team. I mean, he was hooping this season. I'll give him that. That. Victor Ramayama 22 11 and 4 pretty much a decrease across the board man however the efficiency he's got career highs there 55 percent from the floor 43 percent from deep I'm not mad at a man we've got two elite players here on this team and of course here's a look at the rest of the roster if you guys want to check it out let's go ahead and just sim this playoffs man let's see what the boys do here as it looks like we beat the Kings there um, we are going to beat the Thunder in five and then we got eliminated in what is that seven games by Bam Adebayo bro not bad I'm out of bio, man. One game away from reaching the NBA Finals. That's so brutal. And Victor Wamayama didn't come to play in that game seven, man. 16 points, 11 rebounds, six assists. That's not going to cut it, bro. What'd you do in the overall playoffs? Oh, no. Wemby, not like this. Not like this, man. 19 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. That's not good, bro. The efficiency plummeting as well. That's a really bad playoff run for Victor Wamayama. Oh, well. As we see, it's the uh, Hawks and the Suns, and it's the Hawks winning it all. Shea just Alexander now in Atlanta getting finals MVP. All right, cool. Hey, man, I don't want it to seem like I'm being too harsh on him, but I'm thinking like Hall of Fame resume. You know what I mean? That's what I got in mind right now for Wimby. And uh, the playoff success, it hasn't been too good yet. As we got the 29th pick in the draft, let's go to see what that ends up being. And it looks like it's Roy Clayton out of uh, Iowa. I don't know, man. I'm done with the real draft classes. We did that for like, what is this, six seasons? I mean, we're talking about eighth graders at this point, man. So we're done with that. We're going to do auto-generated players the rest of the way. Bro, say it's not so. Isaiah Collier got an offer sheet from the Los Angeles Lakers, and I guess the Spurs didn't match it, man. Maybe they couldn't afford to. I don't really know because I'm not in charge of any of that. I just sent past free agency. But bro got an MVP and got the thing in A, man. I can lead my own team. That's pretty brutal, man. But the good news is Victor Wamayama is up two to a 99. We like to see that. And also VJ Miller, bro. 92 overall. He's up five. He's only 22 years old. So we still have an elite duo here. But yeah, man, it would have been a crazy big three had Collier stayed. Oh, well, let's go to move on to season number six and just see what that's looking like. Like this ain't a good sign, my G. No disrespect. But when you replace the MVP, Isaiah Collier, with Blake Wesley as your starting point guard, um, it's, it's not the best, bro. It's not the best. Either way, here's a look at the starting lineup. Still really good. I mean, 290 overall players and like a really deep bench as well. Maybe not that deep, but some really good players. Let's go and see what we can do with year six, man. Can we reach the finals for the first time? We're going to find out right now. Isaiah who, man, the Spurs went 58 and 24 and Victor Wamayama back in MVP form, 23 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, 50, 40, 90. Once again, man absolutely dominant and what's even more impressive is he's staying healthy man he's only missed 10 games in his first six seasons which is pretty crazy of course the playoffs hasn't happened yet but still that's a really good sign for a guy who again is seven foot four injuries are definitely a concern with guys that size and he's really held up well so that's good to see let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here do we got anything else um brandon sims still our coach i guess he's on the last year of his deal as we go ahead and check this out we got victor ramayama all nba first team um, let's see what else we got here. We got VJ Miller, all defensive second team up to a 93 now, man. Also Victor Amayama on the second team as well. So cool. Let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here. Uh, we are the top team in the Western conference and actually it's VJ Miller who led us in points per game, 24 of them things. That's pretty crazy. Make sure to pause it if you guys want to take a look at all of that, but let's keep it moving, man. We're going to sim this playoffs and see, can we finally get to the finals? Um, as we almost did it, we came back down from three, one against the thunder. And here we are in the finals, man, going up against the Atlanta Hawks. Let me just go ahead and check out who they got. 
uh, Carson Wallace, who's coming into the league this season, Che Gildas Alexander, Bryce James now. Okay, yeah, I went way too far with the uh, with the draft classes. They also got Keegan Murray and Alexander Saar, um, another name that I know, and other international centers. So that's pretty interesting. But anyways, man, can we win this series? Um, yes, we can. The San Antonio Spurs led by VJ Miller, actually, which is pretty interesting, man. Let's see what Victor Wamayama did. Um, no, Wemby, say it's not so. Four points, 15 boards, and six assists in a closeout game, Wemby? Bro, what are the stats looking like? I mean, they're not bad. I think that was just the one dud game. Three-point shooting did go down back to about league average. Not getting finals MVP. That's kind of tough for the resume, my boy. But still, got his first championship. That's the most important thing at the end of the day. So I guess I can't be too mad at it. It happened again. VJ Miller has left to the Milwaukee Bucks. That's so tough, man. Again, the Spurs had a chance to match this offer, and they chose not to do it. I'm not in control of it. That's the second time in a row that Victor Wamayama's right-hand man has decided to leave him. I'm not going to lie, Vic. I'd be feeling some type of way about the Spurs right now, man, because they're clearly not willing to spend that money and build a championship team around you. And this is my city, bro. I grew up in San Antonio. This is not a good sign, especially for a guy who's got a player option next season. If he doesn't like what he sees, he might decide to leave. That's something we got to monitor. It says he's still joyous. I mean, I mean, it seems like he wants to be here but this is not a good roster bro it really isn't um and it's not even a full one either i mean we got what is this we got eight players on this team come on bro this is a joke what an l of an off season bro let's go ahead and keep it moving to season number seven devin vassell keldon johnson isaiah collier vj miller jeremy sochan all of these guys are now gone and this is what the team looks like we got elijah arenas julian phillips ace bailey victor wamayama now back at the four because we are going to start alexandro uh samar ziski i'm just going to call him alex but yeah bro this team is not very good and it's the worst time for them to be bad because again victor wamayama has a player option for next season will he decide to resign let's go ahead and sim this season and just see how it plays out so i didn't see our exact record i think we're around 500 bryce james mvp now that's pretty wild. Um, do we have anything else here? Bam out of bio, bro. Continues to be the star of this rebuild. Um, Ace Bailey, most improved. That's really good to see. 22 points, eight rebounds, three assists. Good stuff there. Uh, yeah, this was not us. That's for sure. Like I said, we were about 500. I'll find out what exactly we were here in a second. Isaiah Collier still making all NBA teams on the Clippers. Um, Victor Amayama, all NBA first team. We like to see that. Doesn't look like we have anything else here um except for victor amayama all defensive second team all right cool and here we are as the number seven seed bro what was our record exactly 41 and 41 man bang average that's pretty crazy it's actually funny that we're going up against the clippers here isaiah collier so that should be an interesting matchup but let's take a look at the stats first so victor amayama led the way let's go ahead and check out how these stats compare um this is a career high 27 points that's nice about 12 rebounds four assists still shooting that thing ridiculously well from deep man um career high from deep which is also really good it says he's elated bro i'm really curious like what do you have to say heading into this offseason i really want to know here i feel elated about the way things are going right now i feel like all the effort yada 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 he says i'm having a great time we've put together a great stretch here are you sure about that my boy i don't really know man um because we're in the plan right now here's a quick look at the stats just for those who want to know but yeah this is a uh, not a do or die one because we just got to win one of these two games but i am interested to see if we can beat i Isaiah Collier here and uh we can okay what was the uh what was the box score here Victor Amayama 19 5 and 7 it's nothing too crazy um Isaiah Collier is actually isn't even on this team anymore I don't know where he just went um uh, unless he was hurt right because he was just on the all NBA team with the Clippers right oh he was hurt he didn't play at all that's tough bro that's really tough but okay we are uh we're in this thing man we're the seventh seed are we going to be able to make a run here as um, we blew a 3-1 to one lead to the OKC Thunder, bro? That's brutal. How did Wemby do? You know I got to find out. I mean, he did his part in the closeout game, man. 39-12-5. What about for the playoffs in general? 36 points. Like, yeah, man. He was hooping, hooping. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, we can't blame him. He tried his best with a team that was 500 this season. Took the second seed, the seven. I guess that's pretty good. 
um but still man i'm super interested to see what will happen this off season as i guess we got the kings winning it all led by Giannis and the kumpo now 35 years old jeez and there it is man victor amayama has declined his player option now it says he's still elated so i guess that's a good sign for spurs fans but let's move the free agency for the first time and see what that's looking like man so victor amayama is expecting about 51 m's which is insane but i mean i guess it's worth it he's the best player in the game right now he's got 11 offers here none of them are going to be from us because they're waiting for me to do it you know i'm going to sim this so whatever the cpu wants to do that's what will happen but for right now the top competing offer is from the memphis grizzlies seems like he's really interested in it let's go ahead and uh just sim past this and see if victor ramayama is still on this team man yeah this is a big moment here will we finally see a move from Wemby and we will bro he's not here where is Victor Wamayama let's find out and it is the Grizzlies man he's joining John Morant wow that's pretty insane all right i mean i guess i can't blame him man seven years with the spurs you win one title but they fail to re-sign two of your co-stars you just got to move on at that point man he's got a real co-star now in john morant that should be super interesting even though he's 30 years old still should be pretty good let's go ahead and move on to season number eight man where i guess i got to switch to the grizzlies now this starting lineup is pretty decent man we got john morant jalen hood cam reddish jonathan kaminga and victor wamayama um, off the bench, not really anybody that I recognize. I mean, there's Kai Jones, Jakob Pertle, and I guess there's Trey Jones as well. So there's a reunion there. That's pretty funny. But anyways, man, season number eight for Victor Wamayama and you team, can you make another championship run? Let's go ahead and find out. Well, so much for that. We went 35 and 47. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the worst records that we've seen here in a while. Pam Adebayo also on a new team and uh still dominating another defensive player of the year how many do you have so far man i gotta know it doesn't even say it here which is pretty whack but i mean he's gotten a lot of all nba selections even a championship two mvps a hey, bro bam out of bio is that guy but anyways let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here yeah bro we were really bad this season victor amayama all nba first team so that's nice he might have got an mvp um if his team wasn't so horrible but let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here as we do have Victor Amayama all defensive second team. Quick update on his awards. He's got two MVPs, a championship. He's got five all-star selections, five all-NBA selections, and then a defense player of the year. Only one of them because Bam Adebayo has been hogging them up. But yeah, man, we also got an all-rookie guy, I guess, in Mitchell Dawson. So that's pretty cool. And I guess we are here in the play-in. So there you go. We somehow snuck our way in here with uh, what record was it? It was not very good. It was um, 35 and 27. That was enough to make the play-in, which is pretty crazy. Victor Wamayama led the way for us. Let's go ahead and check out how these stats compare to his previous years. Um, I mean, it's about the same as last season. Like, the efficiency is about the same as well. I mean, 47% from deep is wild for a guy who's 7 foot 4 99 overall still the best in the game here also got John Morant looking pretty decent yeah man take a quick look at these stats if you want to but let's go ahead and see if we can uh make it out of here we got to win two games this time around let's go ahead and see if we can do it and we cannot tough all righty what'd you do in that game Wimby I gotta know 33 12 7 and 6 I mean I can't be mad at him bro that's about as good as he can do but anyways let's go ahead and sim this playoffs here yeah man one championship in the first what is this seven or eight seasons for victor amayama i mean it's not the worst but it's also it's not that good man i can't lie i mean paolo bancaro has got what three championships now from my count in this sim that's pretty wild but anyways let's go ahead and keep this thing moving man so i don't really know the pick situations at this point but apparently the grizzlies have two of them things in the lottery so let's go ahead and see how that plays out as um they got the third pick all right that's pretty good man and the 11th pick that's a game changer man let's go over to the draft and just see what they end up getting apparently the spurs have the top pick and they got a bust 75 overall 23 years old danny patrick that's not very good we got norm logan uh 22 years old so another older guy 77 overall that's not too bad and then we also got melvin cage at number 11 apparently small four power forward 19 years old so i don't really know how they're going to fit into this team but let's go ahead and just keep it moving here so i don't know if people just don't want to play with victor amayama or what but jonathan kaminga has left the team super unfortunate Wemby stays put. I mean, he has to. He's a 99, but he didn't go down, at least, I should say. John Morant stays put as well. This is the dude who made an all-rookie team. He's up 6 to an 82. Um, 15th overall pick in 2029. I don't even know what year we're in anymore, bro. We're about to get into season number 9, man. So what is that, like 2032 at this point? I don't really know, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. The starting lineup is just all right, man. We got John Morant. We got that uh, Mitchell Dawson guy, Jalen Hood, James Turner, and Victor Wamayama. Let's get into this thing and see if we can have a better season this time around. 
So we ended up going 40 and 42, another not so good season. But Victor Wamayama absolutely carried, bro. He got his third MVP, averaging 31 points, 14 rebounds, five assists, and three blocks, 50, 40, 90 once again. Like those are insane stats, man. Yeah. Um, and it all led to a team that went 40 and 42. He also got defensive player of the year for, I think, the second time in his career. Um, there's a Spurs guy, most improved Jackson Davis. That's pretty cool. But yeah, bro, all of that just to still be on a team with a losing record. Here he is, all NBA first team along with a uh, former teammate in Isaiah Collier now on the Detroit Pistons. I don't really know like just what the ceiling of this team is, man. There's VJ Miller on the Bucks now, but I can't imagine it's too high, bro. I really can't as we're here in the play-in once again. Here's a quick look at the stats for those who want to see it. I mean, John Moran is up to a 95, but still, bro, like there's just not much else with this team. So that's super concerning. Let's go ahead and see if we can get out of this thing. We got to win two games once again, and we actually won that one. We're going up against the Spurs, bro. Who do they have on this squad now? They got uh, Anthony Edwards, RJ Barrett, Dylan Mitchell. I'm just naming out the names that I actually recognize. But yeah, bro, let's try to let's try to make this playoffs here and eliminate the San Antonio Spurs. And we did it. OK, so we're here. We are here in the playoffs going up against the number one seed Sacramento Kings. Let's just send this whole thing, man, um, as what is this here? We got one or more players with an unplayable injury. What is that? It's Jalen Hood. OK, yeah, I mean, I, I never wanted to take control of any of this stuff. I just told the CPU to handle it. So we should be good. Fix automatically and then continue. OK, cool. There we go. As uh, we lost, we lost in five games to the Sacramento Kings. Victor Amayama, what did you do, bro? 37, 19, and four. I mean, he's doing as much as he can, bro. Like, what more do you want, bro? I don't really know. 33 points, 13 rebounds, six assists. I mean, he was killing it, bro. Efficiency was pretty down by his standards. Actually, way down, but still, like... He did his thing, bro, but it wasn't enough to beat Giannis Antetokounmpo and Paolo Bancaro. That's a pretty elite duo. They also got Ian Jackson, who was the number one overall pick in 2024. So, yeah, that's actually a really good team, bro. Johnny Davis as well doing his thing. All righty, let's go ahead and sim the rest of this thing as we're going to head into season number 10, man. Um, Paolo Bancaro leading the Kings here. Are they going to win it again? And yes, they will. That's four rings now for Paolo Bancaro. Just for those keeping count at home. One for Victor Wamayama, man. We really got to change that. So we pretty much got the same team here for year number 10, man. Victor Wamayama, John Morant, and Mitchell Dawson, I guess, is our big three now. Victor Wamayama has a player option next offseason, man. So we'll see what he ends up doing. I mean, bro is still saying he's elated, man. He's just happy to be in the league, man. I got to give him credit. This man has not complained once about any of his situations, so I will give him that. It couldn't be me, man. But anyways, let's head into season number 10 now. So we went 35 and 47, man. We were pretty bad this year. Victor Amayama did get defensive player of the year, so that's pretty cool. 27, 14, and 5. I mean, 50, 40, 90 once again, bro. But still, like, these teams are not very good. So we go ahead and keep this thing moving here. He did get all NBA first team, so that's good to see. But yeah, bro, we didn't even make the playoffs this time around. And are you really surprised? Because this team just isn't very good, man. It's not very good. And actually, it looks like Victor Wamayama had some injuries this time around. 67 games played. That's actually the lowest amount for him in his career. So that's super interesting. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and just simulate this entire playoffs. Another run here that does not include Victor Wamayama. Super unfortunate. As it looks like we're going to have the Wizards and the Warriors here. Who's going to win it all? It's going to be the Wizards, led by Cameron Mercer, I guess. But the big thing we're watching this offseason is what will Victor Wamayama do? He declined his player option once again. The last time he did that he left the spurs man let's see what he does this time around and that boy's gone man victor wamayama is now on the toronto raptors wow what kind of deal did he sign again um something insane here yeah bro look at this money that's pretty wild, man. But hey, he's the best player in the game, man. I mean, there's some 95s over here, but Victor Wamayama is the only 99 overall. And he's got a little bit of a better team this time around, man. He's got Zachary Rissacher, I guess. I don't really know, but he's a 91 overall, um, fifth overall pick in 2024, actually from France. Okay, there we go, man. And this is an international team. You know, they're in Toronto, so that's pretty cool. They also got Dylan Mitchell, a Texas kid. So I love to see that because I did go to Texas. Um, Nicholas Claxton, they got Isaac Okoro, Jaden hardy okay this is a pretty decent team man let's go ahead and see what he can do with this squad as we head into season number 11 now and we were bad again 33 and 49 yeah bro another really rough season for victor ramayama and his team as we take a look at these uh these awards here do we have anything here that concerns us there's mikey williams that's a name that i recognize um but it doesn't look like we have anything man 
What about uh, some All-NBA awards here? What do we have for the Raptors? We got Zachary Rissacher is here and Victor Amayama. Okay, both of them on All-NBA second team. Do we got anything else here? Um, it does not look like it, man. So we didn't make the playoffs or the play in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats now. Victor Amayama is the second leading scorer here. Let's go ahead and see how these stats stack up here. Um, it's nothing too crazy. Shooting is so really good. But yeah, bro, another losing season and another year where we do not make the playoffs. That's really tough, man. Um, let's go ahead and just sim this entire thing here because, again, does not concern us as we're going to go ahead and keep it moving here. Looks like it's going to be the Wizards and the Kings. Who's going to win it all? Um, it's going to be the Kings led by Basala ba Bagayoka. I think he was like a number one overall pick, right? Yeah, he was. 2025. I don't know who any of these guys are, man. I think we're in like year 2034 or something like that. I'm completely lost at this point. We got the fourth overall pick in the draft, so there's that at least. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep this thing moving here. As it looks like we lost Dylan Mitchell and a couple other guys here, we also got another center with our fourth overall pick, which I don't understand that. Johnny Weber. I guess we could go ahead and make Wamayama like a power forward again. I had just moved the Brown earlier off camera because it just fit the rotation. But yeah, I guess he's going to be a power forward. Out of the way, though, this is just not a very good team, bro. But let's head into season number 12 and see if we can turn things around. So I skipped the awards when we got an All-NBA second team selection. We were 31-45 and 45 this season, man. Missed the playoffs once again. Wemby averaged 25 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. I mean, it's really just him and this guy and not much else, man. The Wizards ended up winning it all. Let's go ahead and keep it moving to the next year. And I guess we're just on a rebuilding team at this point because the Raptors got the number one pick in the draft. They went with Carson Moreland. Um, apparently, we missed out on this guy who's an 81. But still, he's the number one overall pick. He's a small four power forward, so that's nice. He could definitely start for us right away. I guess we'll take him, man. So these rosters are getting smaller and smaller, man. I just think that no team can afford to pay everybody. Um, probably because Victor Ramayama is making about 61 M. I mean, it's hard to fill out a roster when you're giving up half of your salary to one guy. But yeah, man, Wemby's got a player option for next season. We'll see what he ends up doing um, because right now this team is going to be bad once again, man. I mean, they got the number one overall pick and also what is this? The number four pick from the year before that. So there's a little bit of a youth movement going on here in Toronto, but Wemby's 31 years old, man. He's got to start winning some more championships, man. And I don't think it's going to happen in Toronto anytime soon. But anyways, let's move on to season number 13 now. 37 and 45, another losing season. And Isaiah Collins Collier is back to winning MVP's former teammate of Victor Amayama on the Spurs. Um, do we have anything here? There we go. Wemby got defense player of the year for the fourth time. So shout out to him. But yeah, man, this is going to be a really big offseason for him. Once again, another opportunity uh, to move on to a new team as he got all NBA second team here. He also got all defensive first team, of course. Yeah, bro, I think he's got to go because we did not make the playoffs once again. And um, he's still putting up good stats, bro. Like he's still in a position where he can try to win titles. He's a 99 overall, averaging 24, 11, 4, and 3, bro. Like shooting that thing um, really well, man. Yeah. As so let's go ahead and check out how this playoffs is going to unfold here. Not like I know any of the players. Um, oh, I do know that name. Bronny James is leading the Clippers to the uh, NBA Finals. Okay, so he's in LA and he's winning a championship. That's actually really cool, man. I'm not gonna lie. He didn't get Finals MVP, but still, it's funny how that played out. There it is, man. Victor Wamayama has declined his player option. 63 and a half M's. That's pretty insane, man. But I'm sure a lot of teams will be happy to pay that price tag. Let's go ahead and see what offers he gets. Actually, it looks like he's taking a bit of a pay cut. He's expecting around 55 and a half. What's his top offer? It's the Pistons. Okay, a team that would have loved to have had him in real life, but they fell down to number five. Super tough. Anyways, man, let's see if he resigns with the Raptors. And he didn't. Victor Ramayama is somewhere else. I'm guessing Detroit. Oh, no, he's not here. Okay. Actually, that would have been funny if he paired back up with VJ Miller. Maybe that's why he didn't go there because he didn't want to play with bro. Where's Victor Ramayama? Let's go ahead and find him. He's on the Pacers. Interesting. With Tyrese Halliburton, Jaden Williams, Michael Tinsley. I don't know why I'm saying these names like I know them. But Johnny Davis, I know that name. All right, man. Hey, it's better than the previous team. I'll give him that at least. And he's only on a one-year deal, which you know what, Wemby? I'm not mad at that because if this team turns out to be bad, don't lock yourself up for another like three, four years, bro. You're 32 years old. Just start to do some one-year deals, man. Go somewhere where you think you can win a championship. And if you can't, move on to the next team. I like the mindset here. Let's move on to season number 14 where I actually have a little bit of cautious optimism this time, man. So we went 46 and 36. It wasn't the best, but we're in the playoffs and Victor Wamayama has won 
MVP once again. That's the fourth one for him, man. So shout out to him. 27 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, 50, 40, 90. Yeah, man. Absolutely dominant. Um, as we go ahead and take out the rest of this defensive player of the year as well. Um, all right, man. I actually feel pretty good about this. Victor Amayama, all NBA first team. Of course, that makes sense. Um, also, all defensive first team. Okay, man. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Actually, we'll take a look at the stats real quick just for those who want to know. Make sure to pause it if you want here. I don't know if you guys care about this at this point. But anyways, all that really matters is can we make a playoff run? Let's go ahead and find out here as um, we lose in five. Tough, bro. Tough. We lost in five to the Detroit Pistons, who did make it to the conference finals, but that's it. That's really brutal, man. As it's uh it's the Boston Celtics and Assad Noel, I guess, led the way. I'm not even sure. 30 points, 13 boards, seven assists. I mean, these are good. Shooting efficiency went down. I guess it's progress, but hey, he's a free agent once again this season. Let's see if this was enough for him to want to resign. And it wasn't. Victor Wamayama is now a Chicago Bull. He signed a four-year deal, bro. What was I just saying, Vic? Take the shorter deal, bro. He's locked up for the next four seasons here until he's 36 years old. And honestly, this team is like kind of mid, man. They got Anthony Black, so that's pretty cool. But like not a whole lot else, man. I don't really know why he wanted to sign a long-term deal here. But I guess he's going to be with the Bulls for a while, man. He's starting to regress for the first time in his career. 98 overall. He's 33 years old. I don't know how many seasons he has left. But we're going to keep speeding this thing up, man. Let's get into it. Don't look now, but we are back in business, man. We went 60-22, and 22 and Victor Wamayama led the way. 23 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks, 50-49 and he got his fifth mvp shout out to him man also got defense player of the year for the sixth time that's really good to see um yeah we got coach of the year that's us 60 and 22 hey bro this is the season as we got all nba first team for victor ramayama what else did we get here um all defensive first team yep that makes sense number one team in the eastern conference you love to see it here's the stats if you want to see it man but honestly all i care about is can we make a run here in the playoffs and um, okay we're up for the one there we won that series four to two we're in the finals now and we're going to be going up against the sacramento kings now they've won a lot of championships i don't know what the rosters look like anymore but um it doesn't matter victor wamayama has won his second championship and he gets finals mvp for the first time in his career that's really big as well for his hall of fame resume let's get it man i didn't think he should sign a long-term deal with the bulls but i guess that was the right choice Shout out to him. So when we stay put at a 98 and we brought a pretty good amount of our guys back, let's go ahead and keep it moving, man. Season number 16. And just like that, we're bad again. We went 38 and 44. You don't like to see it. Let's go ahead and see if any of this stuff here concerns us. Um, as we didn't even get defense player of the year here with Victor Ramayama. That's super unfortunate. Um, did we get anything here at all? He got all NBA third team. But yeah, man, this was a uh, a pretty drastic step back. All defensive second team for Wamayama. All right, man. We're in the plane at least. We're the number nine seed, so there's that. But yeah, not a good season. And Victor Wamayama is uh, taking like a gradual step back, I guess. 22, 11, and 4. Like by his standards, it's been going down the past two years, um, especially in terms of efficiency here, at least from the floor. From deep, he's still shooting that thing lights out. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, make it into the real playoffs here as we're still alive. Okay. Okay, man, we're here. We're here. We're going to be going up against the Washington Wizards, the number one seed. And it looks like we beat them in five. That's pretty crazy. We ended up losing in the second round, though. Tough. And uh, Bronny James still doing his thing as well. And um, it looks like they won. And he got finals MVP. All right. Shout out to him, man. So Wimby starting to decline once again, man. He's down one to a 97. I mean, he's 35 years old. Still a 98, though, in the top right corner. So still doing his thing. But um, yeah, the team is just all right now, I guess. It's nothing too special. Let's head into season number 17, man, where hopefully we're going to wrap this thing up pretty soon. Another mediocre season. We went 42 and 40. Did we get anything here? Um, we did not this time around. What about an all-NBA selection here? We got Victor Wamayama, all-NBA third team. And actually, he missed the most games of his career this season. He missed 16 of them things, man. That's um that's a lot of games here. I don't know what the injury history was. Let me see if I can find that. It looks like it was some kind of knee injury, I guess. I'm not too sure. But either way, man, we're here in the play-in once again. Let's take a look at the stats one more time. Still doing Victor Amayama things, man. 23 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. Um, still shooting that thing ridiculously well. I'm going to be super interested to see like just how he finishes all time in terms of made three-pointers, 
blocks, rebounds, all that kind of stuff. We're going to find all that out here at the end of his career. Whenever he retires, I don't know when that's going to be um, as we are in this thing. And uh, we almost came back from down three to one, but we lost to the number one seed of Brooklyn Nets. And is that Paolo Bancaro again, man? Hey, Paolo Bancaro has been racking up rings. The Sacramento Kings win it all once again. Let's go ahead and keep it moving, man. Yeah, this team is pretty bad, man. And Victor Amayama is starting to really decrease now. He's down two to a 95. Still says 96, but yeah, he's 36 years old. This is the last year of his deal. Will he go somewhere else after this? Will he retire? I'm not really sure. But let's get into season number 18, man. So we went 41 and 41, just another average season, man. Um, and another year with no awards now. I think that's like... What, maybe the third year in a row? The WMB hasn't gotten one of the main awards. That's a little bit disappointing. But um, again, man, he's getting so old now. 37 years old, still a 96 overall, still all defensive first team. But yeah, this is the first time in a while he hasn't gotten an all NBA team. So there's that at least. Um, we did make the play in the number nine seed. There's that. Here's a look at Wimby's stats. Make sure to pause it if you want. But yeah, man, let's see if we can uh, if we can make the main playoffs here. And we can. We're going up against the Wizards this time around. They're the number one seed. And uh, we beat them. Okay. Okay, here we go, man. No, no, not like this. I thought we were going to make a crazy run, but we fall in six games to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals. All righty. It's going to be the Cavs winning it all? No. Okay, I was going to say at least we lose to the eventual champs. Nah, it's Kay Cunningham, 39 years old, leading the Timberwolves to a championship. All right. I'm starting to look at player retirements every single offseason, man, but Victor Amayama is not ready to hang it up. I mean, some of the guys in his current class are already retiring, bro. Like, Here's Taylor Hendricks. Here's Amen Thompson. There's Scoot Henderson. Like, these are all guys who got drafted at the same time at Wemby. But he says, I still got some more Emmy, man. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. Are you kidding me, Victor? This man is heading back to the Toronto Raptors. Wow. Still paired up with, uh, what's his name here? He's now an 85. He used to be like a 93. Bro, this team is not good, Wemby. Why would you do this to yourself? I don't understand it, man. Like, maybe this is just where he wants to retire. I'm not sure. But let's head into season number 19, man. I don't want to say I told you, Wemby, but I told you so. We went 35 and 47, man. Yeah, not good at all. Does any of this here concern us, man? Um, Yeah, it does not once again. Let's go ahead and see what we can get here. We got Victor Amayama, all NBA third team, I guess. Um, we also got all defensive first team. Okay, cool. We didn't make the playoffs or the play-in, so that's the end of this season. 19 points, 11 rebounds, four assists for Wemby. Is this his last year? I'm not sure, man. It seems like the type of thing he would do, you know, where he just wants to come here and end his career here, you know what I mean? I kind of wish he would end it in San Antonio, but uh, oh well, let's go ahead and see. We got the Blazers and the Heat here and um, it's going to be the Heat winning it all. Okay, cool. And he still won't call it, bro. He's 38 years old, 92 overall now. He won down three. This is the last year of his deal, man. Surely this is it. But yeah, man, I mean, we got people's kids in the league now, bro. Darius Garland Jr.? That's actually funny because it legit kind of looks like him. But yeah, bro, like if that ain't a sign to hang it up, I don't know what is, Wemby. Let's head into season number 20, I guess, man. 34 and 48, man. We missed the playoffs once again. Um, And does any of this here even concern us? It, it, it does not. Okay. Yeah, bro. This is uh this is not how I would be ending my career. I'll just say that. All NBA first team for Victor Wamayama, 39 years old. I mean, he's still doing his thing individually. I'll give him that. All defensive second team. But yeah, bro, this team is just not very good. I mean, we're really starting to see that decline, man. However, it still says he's joyous. I think he's been joyous or elated his entire career. So I'll give him that. Bro has been uh has been a beacon of positivity. But anyways, let's go ahead and just sim this playoffs once again. Does not concern us here as it's going to be the uh, the Trailblazers and the Hawks. Who's going to win it all? And it's the Hawks led by Jaden Johnson. All right, cool. And there it is, man. After 20 years in the league, Victor Wamayama has decided to retire at the age of 39. He ended up finishing with five MVPs, two championships, 16 all-star appearances, and 16 all-NBA selections, eight of which were on all-NBA first team. I wish he would have gone to some more competitive teams in his last few years, but still, this was a tremendous career by Victor Wamayama. And no surprise here, he is first ballot Hall of Fame, 24 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, and three blocks throughout his career. 
That's pretty crazy, man. And he also got his jersey retired with the Chicago Bulls, the Toronto Raptors, and the San Antonio Spurs, which is pretty cool. Three teams, man, that's definitely well-deserved. So Victor Wamiyama ended up finishing with the fourth most points in NBA history, 36,814. The record is still held by LeBron James. He also finished sixth in three-pointers made, which is pretty wild considering he's seven foot four. He finished third in rebounds, and he also finished number one in blocks with 3,935. Yeah, man, a dominant career for Victor Amayama. This was a lot of fun, man. I'm hoping this video isn't too long, but it probably will be, so I do apologize for that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Again, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by my birthday, man. Your boy has been grinding, so if you guys could help me get to that, I would really appreciate it. But either way, man, this has been 2KJ. Blessings.